This is television for the Isles of Scilly, brought to you with Truro and Penwith College and the Scilly Lottery. From Radio Scilly, this is SillyTV.com. Some unusual maze-like shapes have been carved out of the sand on Porth Cressa Beach by a visiting Christian group from the mainland. The initiative is designed to get participants thinking about troubles with their life as they walk around to the centre of the maze. It's called the Labyrinth Project. Andrew explains more. The idea is that it's, it's basically it's like a metaphor for the journey of your life. And uh, as you sort of walk around, it looks like there's loads of different paths, but there's not actually, there's just one path all the way in and all the way out. And the idea of this one is you get a piece of rubbish at the start and you think of something that's uh, rubbish or a problem in your life. And as you walk around, you uh, think of that and then you let go of it in the middle. So you leave, your, leave the problem in the middle by the cross and then you pick up a stone, and think of something good, something positive, something solid you want to try and change in your life, really. And you keep the stone to remind you. It's about five have come from Cornwall uh, today. And then uh, Steve Wilde, who's the, uh, he's the chair of the Methodist district, he's coming over tomorrow and he's going to help me do it tomorrow and we've got a few uh, a few of the silly folk we've got them involved as well so hopefully we'll be a, be a few of us here tomorrow as well quite a lot of people get a lot of uh, a lot of children do it which is great what excites me is you often get children do it uh, they do it a few t- sometimes do it several times and then they come back and get their mums and dads and, and they do it together so it's often the sort of family thing that people can do do together people can do it on whatever level they like you know um, that's the exciting bit I think because everyone's got a problem in their life they want to let go of and uh, this just allows people to try and try and do with that so um you know, you're not, you're not trying to force something on people. It's just entirely up to them what sort of level they want to do it, really. There's been a sort of a big kind of rediscovery of, of labyrinths in sort of, especially in the kind of Christian sort of culture in the last sort of 10 or 15 years. Um, there was an organisation called Youth for Christ that were, were doing them, and they were doing them in sort of churches and cathedrals in Britain, and they were doing them with different sort of stations, and you would uh, do sort of different interactions at these stations, and you did them with like personal headphones, and it was a great thing. And I did it myself, and I got their sort of kit. But I sort of became aware that that's really great but wouldn't it be good if you could do that somewhere where people didn't have to go into a church to do it where you could just try and do it where people were just you know chilling out spending some of their leisure time so we kind of came up with a this sort of simplified version of it where uh, you, you know just do it on the beach so you get anybody doing it which is the exciting thing not just you know people who would normally be in the church you know we did one a few weeks ago in, in Southport and we had, a, we had a Hindu a Muslim and a Sikh all participating in this kind of Christian labyrinth it was awesome